Shalom, shalom. First of all, I want to give all praises. Goes on the suit, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Ha'akakwadash, the bondage of the apostles and elders, a great millstone who taught us the truth of the spirit. So now, as brothers across the four corners of the earth can teach the truth and truth in its sincerity and rule and will. On the shalom, my brother Yeremiah, for I saw Yahweh's sanctified ones, coming to bring in another edifying listen to the spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Ha'akakwadash, to feed the lambs of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Ha'akakwadash. On the redeeming, okay, of our Lord Yahweh Shai, getting his reign. Okay, for our Lord Yahweh Shai, the Mashiach, getting his glory. Okay, and we're going to glorify our Lord. Okay, we're going to give praises to our Lord. Okay, we're going to give thanks to our Lord. Okay, because when Yahweh Shai is coming back, he's coming to redeem a, a few of, of the elect. Okay, he is coming to get his, his, his brothers. He's coming to get his men that he loved from the beginning, from the foundation of the world. And we pray that Lord's will be our of that chosen a remedy that the most I have uh, chosen from the beginning, that we was with the Lord from the beginning. All right, because we'll be doing the work in defending the gospel of Yahweh Shema in the end days and bringing forth of the truth like we should be as men of the Lord and as prophets. You know, it's Revelation chapter 19 in verse, uh, I'm, I'm going to start at uh, verse 7. You know, I'm going to start at verse 5. And a voice came out of the, out of the throne saying, Praise, I will power all ye his servants, ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard as it were the, the voice of a great multitude, as the voice of many waters, as the voice of mighty thunders, saying, Alas, for the for the Yahweh, Bashima Shai, the power argument, restore, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him. For the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife have made herself ready. And we are the, and we are Yahweh Shai's wife, because we are married unto our Lord. We made an oath unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Okay, we made an oath with the Most High that we will that we will serve Him day and night, and that we will be His servants. Okay, and that we will serve Him either between life or death. Okay, because death won't do us part from Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right, we're gonna serve the Most High life and through life and death, man. That's our job as His servants to serve Him. And be his servants all the way until the end, until our Lord comes back, Yahweh Shai, and, he, and we get remarried to our Lord. We were making ourselves ready. We are preparing ourselves for that marriage. Okay, for us to get married back and grafted in back with our Lord. Okay, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife had made herself ready. And to her was, was granted that she should be arraigned in fine linen, clean and white for the for, for the for the for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. And that's going and that's going and that's our linen, the all white garments. Which means purity. We're gonna be our in our appearance form when we get ready to see our Lord. We're gonna be in the best of our forms when we get ready to get those crowns and receive those palms of victory and receive that that salvation that we have been long and hoping for since the beginning of times. Because the sons of God have been waiting for their redemption. We have been waiting for our redemption. We have been waiting for us to get our power back. Okay. And he said unto, unto me, right, blessed are they which are, well, which are called unto the marriage, the supper of the lamb. And he has said unto me, these are the true sayings of the most high. So these are the true sayings of Yahweh Shema Shai. Blessed are they that have been called to the marriage. And we have been called to that marriage. But we have to, we have to, we have to pray that we have been chosen to get that, to get to be married unto the Lord. The scripture says, Many are called, but few are chosen. We want to be chosen. We want to be the chosen at the most I have chosen to be married. Okay? Because we are getting, we are preparing ourselves to meet our Lord. Okay, we are getting ourselves ready to to to, to inherit that. You know, to 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 to, to re get our regain our power and our strength through our Lord Yahweh Shah. And I will feel and I will and I, and I and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh Shema Shai for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And that's what we're doing. The testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. All right. And I saw heaven open and behold a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he do of judge and make war. Because Yahweh Shai is coming back to make war with the with the rest of the, with this whole entire world. And what's that white horse? Those chariots. Those UFOs. 
that they they they, they those those so called UFOs and so white men call UFOs, but they are IFOs because we they identify with us, the chariots of Israel. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written, had a name written that no man knew but himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called True, the Word of the Most High. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with he that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with an rod of iron, and treadeth the, the winepress of, of the princes in the in the wrath. Of the Almighty Yahweh Bashim Shai. And he have on his vesture and one and on his and on, on, on his thigh a name written, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying, All the all, all, all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven come and gather yourselves together unto the supper, the great of the great of the great power that ye may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of companions and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and of the and of them that sit on them and the flesh of all men both free and bond both small and great and I saw the beast of the kings of the earth and they were and they were arms greatly together to make war against him that sat on the throne and against his army Exactly, so that's what the so-called army getting ready to do. Okay, when Hawashah comes back, Esau is going to be ready to, to make war with, with our power, man. And we're going to destroy them utterly. We're going to, we're going to beat them to power. Okay, because our Lord Yahushua is on his way back. Okay, year 2020, the year of prophecy, all these things must come to pass for our Lord to come back, man. And we are praying every day that Yahushua comes back and gets his glory. Okay, because we are, because we are hoping for that salvation that we have been praying for and, and, and hoping for, man. Being saved, being redeemed as the sons of Jacob and, get, and being remarried to the Lamb. All right? Getting that marriage, you know? Being of that fold, being of that, 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 that the Most High's tabernacle. Be of that chosen few. Uh, and this is uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and, uh, and 20. But now is Yahweh Shai risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by, by men came death, but by become also the re resurrection of the dead. For Adam all all died, even so in Yahweh Shai shall all be made alive. But every man is his own order. Yahweh Shai is the first fruits afterward that that are Hamashiach at this. Then it cometh the end when he shall have delivered of the kingdom to the to Yahweh Shai, even the to you know the kingdom to the most high, even the father, even he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. For he must reign till he have put all enemies under his feet. So Yahweh Shai must reign till he put all enemies under his feet. And Yahweh Shai, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, is coming back to get that, to get that, to get that rightful uh redemption, to put all kings and, and, and all people under his foot and under his feet and under his rulership. And we're going to rule in righteousness with our Lord. We're going to get those palms, which represents victory over this beast, over this devil, man, over this system. Okay? We're not going to bow down to the city system. We're not going to accept this system. We're going to fight for Yahweh Bashim al to death. And we're going to fight for our Lord Yahweh Bashim to death. Because Yahweh Bashim fought for us. And we have to fight for him as well. All right, so with that, we're going to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim al And with that, Shalom.